Welcome to this video. Today we will talk about functions. So I'm going to give you a practical example of a function. So you will see how we create functions. You can look at a function as a, a process that does something. So it receives some data, does some process, and return a value. So we assume we have a function, a box like this, and it takes two variables, x and y, then it returned z. And z is x plus y. And we call this function, for example, sum, sum. So how we can create a function like this? A function that receives two parameters, x and y, does some process with just calculating the sum and returning the value. So this is our function. We'll keep it aside. We'll move now to Ripple and see how we can create it. Okay? So we can say def. This is the way to create a function. You start by def. Again, def is short for definition of a function. So we're defining a function. And we're calling this function sum with s uppercase. And it receives x and y. Very simple. Now, should end by a column, and now we do the calculation. So we come back here and say z or z equal x plus y. So that line now did the calculation for us. What we need to do now, we need to return back z as in our uh, example. So we say return z, and this is how you do a function that accepts two parameters, does some basic calculation, and return the result. Now we have this function now, if we run, we get nothing. The function is there, but we did not call it, or ask it to, to, ask it to, to do something. So if I want to call it, I can say, for example, print, <coughs> sorry, print uh, sum, of x and y. This gives x 10 and y 20. So this is calling the function. So now I'm calling the function using the same function name as I have here. I'm passing x value, value for x, and value for y. I'm using print just to print the result. If you run this, you go here, you will find 30 came as the result. Okay. We can improve this by saying here, quotation, sum equal, comma, sum. You know this one. When you want to give a title for your output, then you can use quotation and you write inside whatever you want to do. Now this way, it comes a little bit nicer. So that's how to create a function that receives two parameters, does a process, and return the value. I hope this was uh, useful and we'll see you in the next video.